Hello there. I had some footage from last year um, when we took the mast and rig down, so um, I just thought I'd share that experience with you. By no means is this a how-to video and do do this and don't do that. Um, I spent just spent some time with Doghouse Marine while they were doing it, and they were very busy guys, so they didn't have that much time to um, uh, explain every single part of the process with me. I would love to go in depth about that in the future and maybe when I know more and I get some more experience I can do that but um, I hope you can take something from this video. Let's get into it. Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today is the day that we're taking the rigging down um, with Doghouse Marine in Svinninger. As you already know by now the boat was uh, grounded earlier in the year so now we haven't had any use of out of the boat for yeah around about two months now um, so we've just been waiting for a boat show uh, that's just happened at Svinninger with a few hands of boats that's been down over the weekend um, but now it's time for her to come out of the water um, I want her out of the water earlier because I, I can then hopefully make the anti-fouling last one more year this is the first time I've taken a rig down on a boat so it should be very interesting to see how it's done by the experts and uh, hopefully get some tips at the same time. Uh, so this is Nicholas from Doghouse Marine and he provides some very good services for rigging and he really knows what he's doing so very nice guy to talk to as well. <laughs> so yeah we're just preparing the halyards now first of all. Uh, I'm just getting that down and then we'll move the boat over there to the mast crane. So as you can see preparations are also going on on the inside here um, because all the connectors are on the inside of the boat here for the mast so just disconnecting all of that taking all the panels off up there and then we can carry on. So the radar cable that they put in for this boat is incredibly long that just looks like a yeah just an RJ45 connector on the radar there so I might want to cut that down a bit this is no good. Just getting all the cables up from the saloon cabin now. Yes, this one is no good. Too big. Yeah? This one is no good. Okay. Too complicated to get everything in and out. <laughs> sure. Interesting to know. <laughs> yeah, this one is going to be a problem when we put it on again. Yeah, to fish it through. Yes. Uh, now the rod kicker is coming off. Um, probably going to lay the boom on the side of the boat because it's easier. Yeah, I'm just watching and learning. Another, another stage of the preparation is to get all the halyards in line with the mast as well so the mast can uh, be taken off in sort of one piece with all its pieces and all the ropes. It looks like you've done this before, guys. We've done it. <laughs> so gooseneck coming off now with the boom. Surprising, I thought it would be heavier than that. No, I'm strong. <laughs> so those split pins just stop them from spinning, right? Yes. Yeah. So he's up there now, looks like he's taking the Windex off uh, with a few of the instruments up there. There we go, that's the Windex off. Be interesting to see when that comes down. See what it actually really looks like. I've not been up there yet. I should have climbed the mast already, but I haven't had the chance. Or I never really thought about it. But uh, it should be something that we learn how to do. Now's the part when uh, we're getting the winch on the mast, so we take the weight off the boat and 
so we can actually start removing the rigging around it, the stanchions. But it's interesting to watch, I'm learning, that's for sure. Day is now off. I thought my Windex was beginning to become a little bit hard to see. Look at this, some kind of bird or something has come along and eaten it. Need to get a new little Windex on the top there. It's not just me that's going crazy when I'm looking at it then, or I thought I needed an eyesight test, one or the other, but uh, it's strange. This might sound completely ridiculous, but I find it really exciting when something is happening with the boat, you know, when it's been worked on or something's moving with it. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty strange like that. Feeling a bit uneasy at the moment, <laughs> watching the mast come off your boat and everything, but these guys have uh, a lot of experience at Doghouse Marine down here, and they're very good guys. If you want some work done on your rigging or whatever, then come down and have a word with Nicholas. He's a really nice, friendly guy to talk to. He'll give you uh, all the advice that you need and even uh, show you a few tips and tricks as well with your rig and how to set it up and the best practices and so on. Oh, and just to mention, I'm not being sponsored by Doghouse Marine for this. I'm just uh, just giving him a little endorsement because it's a nice thing to do. Last thing to do, I guess, is to get the force day off. And then they can lift the mast and then uh, put it horizontal on the deck and then store it for the winter. The reason that the mast is coming off is because the boat has to go into the workshop. Um, and the workshop isn't 14 meters tall. Force day is now off up here, so that will go against the mast, I guess, and then the whole thing will be lifted and then swiveled over towards the deck over here. There we go. That's a moving mast. That's a moving boat also. <laughs> It really helps to have the right tools when you're doing this kind of thing. Every little bit helps, I guess, moving this much weight around. I'm not sure how much the mast weighs, but it's enough. Taking the spreaders off now. I guess there's just little clips inside there holding it on. There we go, it's on the trolley now. I'm just taking the radar off now. Just uh, unplug that uh, screw connector in there, and now we've got to unbolt it. I'm just going to store it in the boat over the winter, it's the safest place it can be. So, 
we take the radar off, it's much better to store the mast as the radar unit uh, takes quite a lot of space in the storage unit, so it's better if it just gets stored somewhere. This was the deck light that we had fitted by Hansa when we ordered the boat. It's proved super convenient when sailing at night. The mast is now leaving the boat. Look at this guys, it's a kind of a custom built little warehouse for masts. It's got his own little pulleys and winches and things and then I guess a lot of masts get stored in here on these uh, little davits coming off the wall here. And that, friends, is how to take a mast off a Hansa, or probably most boats for that matter. So, I hope it was beneficial. Um, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.